Hello, I'm Dr. Keith Beasley, and back in 1987, I published what was to be one of the first articles on EQ, the emotional quotient. And ever since then, I've been exploring this notion of an intelligence other than the logical, rational consciousness with which we associate intelligence. And I've come to the conclusion, both from my own first-hand experience, from academic research, from working in industry, that emotional intelligence isn't about what the rational mind comes up with. Indeed, that's the whole point of emotional intelligence, in that rather than being concerned with what we're, we're thinking, rationally, conventionally, it is concerned with what we know at a deeper level. It's concerned with what we feel in our bodies. So it's not a mind thing, it's a whole body thing, isn't it? Plus, in terms of how do we improve our emotional intelligence, rather than looking at it from a, a rational point of view and try to analyse it, break it down into different skills, break it down into different competences or traits, I think that rather misses the whole point. But to do that is to go along with the idea that our emotions are like measuring the weight of fruit or measuring the distance from A to B. Whereas they're not like that at all, are they? So if I were to ask you, how loving are you? You wouldn't attempt to measure that on any form of scientific scale. And that's what we're talking about with emotional intelligence. We're talking about our ability to be compassionate, our ability to empathise with others, our ability to tune in to a situation which may have many different facets, which logically and consciously, from a, a rational point of view, we're always going to miss some of the subtleties because we're looking at it from a, a logical point of view. Whereas what we need to be doing is to be getting a feel of the situation. So how can we better tune in to our own needs? How better can we be aware of how other people are feeling and what the needs of a given situation are at a deeper level beyond the pure and rational? That to me is what emotional intelligence is all about. And for that reason, I feel that one of the best ways of improving our emotional intelligence is to take up some sort of technique or approach which helps us to develop this alternative way of knowing, another way that helps us to be more mindful, more aware, more connected to both our, our physical knowing and our intuition, our sixth sense, our gut instinct, all of those sorts of ways of knowing which are rather different from the rational knowing with which most psychometric tests and assessments are based. So I mentioned mindfulness, obviously there are now many wonderful courses on mindfulness, and that's certainly one approach you might take. Another approach which I would certainly recommend, or which I've used myself, is Reiki, Reiki healing. Some of you may have heard of it, and you may have heard that it's, it's a form of therapy, that you go along to your Reiki practitioner, and they give you a hands-on treatment, and you feel a bit more relaxed for it. Well, yes, it is that. But Reiki, when you look at its origins, was actually more designed and intended as a part of personal self-development. So Reiki is about self-healing. And after the first level of Reiki training, first degree, that enables you to give yourself a Reiki treatment as and when you need it. And so the idea of Reiki is that you get used to doing Reiki as a self-healing treatment, as a relaxation approach, as a form of mindfulness training, if you get used to doing that as part of your life, and that helps you to become more aware of how you're feeling, more in tune with what other people are feeling, more knowing about the, the inner, deeper, subtle energies within a situation. And what is that, if not developing your emotional intelligence? So, from my experience, and from the many hundreds of Reiki students I've had over the years, I can say, with some authority that Reiki offers you a wonderful chance to improve your emotional intelligence. And in doing so, you'll also find a way of relaxing when you need to, of being more in tune with your true self, of finding out what your real needs are. And as you do that through practicing a Reiki, so you'll become more content, 
more furry, more full build, and more emotional intelligence. So I look forward to sharing a Reiki journey with you. Thank you.